What's up guys, welcome back. I'm here in the garage with my E39 540i and today I have to do a little oil cooler line repair. So you can see here I have this front mounted uh, 19 row external oil cooler that I plumbed in using uh, dash tin and uh, stainless steel braided line that I ran in series with my uh, oil filter canister. This week one of those uh, lines popped a little hole in it and I have to do a repair by replacing the line and putting fittings back on it. I have a new piece of dash 10 line right here. So basically while I do the repair I'm just going to document how to put one of these AN lines together and show you how. Alright I have the old line removed from the car as well as the new line here. I apologize I couldn't really film removing the line from the oil cooler. I didn't have enough hands to catch the oil spill and film at the same time so yeah, just uh, imagine like a bit Exxon Valdez spill, except for I promise I didn't hurt the penguins or anything. So here she is. I uh, brick cleaned all the ends off so that way there would be no excess residue dripping all over the place from those. I'm sure there is still a little bit of oil in this line. But um, yeah, I think this spare piece I have is just going to be about perfect. Um, yeah, just need to clean up these edges a little bit and then we will take off those ends and put them on this new line and try to make it work the same way as this other one. Alright so here's our new piece of line and what I like to do is I like to take some electrical tape and I like to vary as tightly as I can um, hold down the edges of the stainless steel mesh and tightly wrap it around to make it as tight and compact as possible when you try to thread the outer part of the fitting end on there. Um, they are very tight fitting so the more you can compress that the easier it's going to be. And keep in mind also that those uh, fittings that go over this outer sleeve are reverse thread. So you're probably going to want to um, use the tape and wrap counterclockwise so that way the way that the tape is laying doesn't fight you trying to put the fitting end over the hose. So you're going to want to tape those flat and then as much as you can um, there probably will be a little bit of metal fray sticking out especially if you've had to cut this using a cutoff wheel or a hacksaw or whatever you used. So um, yeah just use some, some metal shears and try to clean up the little excess metal wire around the edges as much as possible. They will stay out of the threads and keep those from hanging up on you when you're trying to uh, twist the fitting on and also stay out of your fingers from when you're trying to work with it. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to take the fittings off the old hose and we'll get to putting on this new one. Alright, pardon my cluttered workspace right here, but um, here in a vise using just a piece of shop towel for protection, hold the base of the fitting that's attached to the hose so that way the end part here you're able to twist off with a wrench. And then here I have the wrench that I'm going to use to I've already broken a loose a little over here. I'm going to continue to remove the end of the fitting. Um, for this purpose, because these fittings are aluminum, they do make special AN wrenches. So that way you keep from scratching up and, you know, basically keep these looking pretty. To me, personally, because nobody ever can really see where these fittings are at, it's not worth the $60 for the special wrench or whatever, just to make sure that my fittings stay pretty. I mean, they don't do the function any different. They just are basically more gentle. Um, so yeah, you can use those if you want. Technically, those are what you're supposed to use. To me, just normal pipe wrench of the appropriate size is fine for me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, continue to take these ends off right here, and I'll show you what the pieces look like once they come apart. Alright, so here you can see we have all the pieces to the fittings. On this line I was using one straight fitting, one 90 degree fitting. They swivel in both directions once they're attached. These are the uh, insert nut part of the line. These are the ones that have the internal reverse threads that you first thread on 
to the end of the line here. And then on this side, the flange side, it has uh, standard threads that you then use to um, thread those threads into. You can see that. So that's the purpose of these guys here, and uh, that's the purpose of them being reverse threads, so that way when you're trying to tighten these into these, the whole line isn't spinning in one direction, and you just twist the whole thing off the hose. So that's those. I will put this new hose in the vise, and I will start trying to put these uh, flare nut bases on so we can get the fittings threaded in. Alright, so to initially squeeze the uh, braided end into this fitting, I kind of need two hands. But as you can see now, once the hose is uh, started into the base of the fitting, then it's real easy. You start reverse threading it on there. And you can see, and as you go down, this uh, some of the electrical tape we used on here, or duct tape, whatever you use, will start to uh, pinch out from underneath and get out of the way of the threading from the inside threads to the outer casing of the uh, steel braid. Some of it will remain inside, but it uh, it's a tight enough fit to where anything that's excess that isn't needed does get squished out. You can kind of see it right there. It gets to the point right there to where you're going to start wanting to use the wrench. And then I know it's kind of hard to see inside that fitting. You probably can't, but there's an inner lip to where you're going to see. probably goes up to about here and you'll be able to tell inside when uh, you want to stop how much thread you actually need to put the hose into the fitting. Alrighty, here I am back in a uh, area with some better light. The line is all finished up. have the uh, ends on here. Everything is snugged up. If it wasn't for the, uh, you know, just the marks of me using an iron wrench and reusing these fittings, I mean, this thing would look totally brand new. These uh, fittings didn't have any scratches on them. You wouldn't even be able to tell the difference that I was reusing this line. But yeah, everything is good to go. Um, I sprayed the line out with some brake cleaner, just uh, so you know any metal particles or dust that have been sitting in this line. Uh, when you go to pump oil through it into the engine, uh, you don't put any of that particulate into your motor. But yeah, everything is in good shape. Both ends are snug down. They are definitely not coming off or going anywhere, so they should be good to go for that oil cooler. Alrighty guys, well there you have it. I have the line all back installed in the car. I cleaned off the residual oil from uh, the whole process and now I'm just letting it run to make sure that there's no leaks that come back. Show you real quick which line it was. It's that little line right there. That was the output from the oil cooler. Goes back to the motor. So far so good, so hopefully everything stays that way. And uh, hopefully I helped some of you guys understand how to uh, make some of these lines in case you need them either. I know that I'm definitely not going to win any production quality awards with this video, but it's, uh, like I said earlier, it's a repair on something that just recently broke on me. It wasn't a video that I planned as a modification or anything like that. So figured I had to fix it anyway. Might as well make a little video documentary of it, showing you guys how, because I know it's definitely the kind of thing that would have helped me uh, learned what I was doing when I was trying to figure out how to make those lines myself the first time so If it helps anybody out there then that uh, makes the effort worth it for me So all right if you guys uh, have any questions like always just please uh, Give me a comment. I'll try and get back to you Otherwise if you like the video subscribe and I'll try to keep making more. Thank you